it's Elise from My Cupcake Addiction and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazing Simpsons inspired jelly donut cupcakes. To recreate your jelly donut cupcakes you'll need a cupcake tray lined with cupcake liners and you'll need a donut pan so either a metal or a silicone donut pan is fine. You'll need some non-stick spray and some good quality raspberry jam. You'll need some powdered sugar or icing sugar, some softened butter, plain flour with baking powder, some caster sugar, Here's some caster sugar with a bit of cinnamon in it. So I will leave all of your measurements down below, but we're gonna use this to kind of roll our cinnamon donuts in today. We've got some whole milk, some vanilla essence, three large eggs, some sprinkles, a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg to add our spice, some oil, some pink food coloring. I've got a large spoon, an ice cream scoop, a pair of scissors, a regular spatula, and some Ziploc bags. Let's get started. I'm using an electric mixer with a paddle attachment. You can also use a whisk attachment here. You wanna add your eggs and your vanilla, your oil, which can either be an olive oil or a vegetable oil, and also your sugar. Turn that on, start it at a low speed, and then turn it right up because you want that mixture to cream together really nicely until it's really nice and light and fluffy. It should noticeably lighten in color. Take your flour now and you want to add all of that flour in and then also your milk and your cinnamon nutmeg spice mix. Start that once again on a low speed and you're really just mixing this to incorporate. You don't want to overbeat it here. So start it on a low speed and then turn it up to high for about 30 seconds. That's your cake mix done. Take your nonstick spray and really well grease your donut pan before taking a couple of big spoonfuls of your cinnamon spice cake mix and putting it into a Ziploc bag. Cut away a generous tip and you're just going to use that just so you make a really neat donut. So just pipe in basically one round of donut. And I like to do six donuts and then I do six of my cupcakes and then I come back and do another three donuts because you want to make sure that you've got enough cupcakes for all of your donuts to go on. I ended up with 11 cupcakes and 12 donuts. So there's one donut for me. The donuts are really fragile. So the best way to get them out is to run one of those flexible spatulas around underneath the curved edge of the donut and gently lift it out. Take the donut now and you want to roll it in that cinnamon sugar. You need to do this while they're warm, so don't let them cool down or the sugar won't stick to them and it won't infuse that flavor. Those cupcakes take about 14 minutes to cook in a moderate oven and these donuts are only about seven to 10, so keep your eye on them. Don't put any cinnamon on the base of your donut because otherwise it's not gonna to stick to the frosting when we go to attach it to our cupcake. While those are cooling, we'll make our frosting. So my butter and vanilla are in my mixing bowl and you want to whip that on high speed for a minimum of three minutes so that that butter gets really nice and light and whipped looking. One of the secrets to a great buttercream frosting is when and how you add your powdered sugar. So take about a cup or so of that powdered sugar Add it in and start your mixer on a really low speed to begin with so you don't get a dust storm before turning it onto high and whipping that for another three minutes. Gradually add the rest of your powdered sugar and your cinnamon spice and once you get near the end this is when your milk comes in so you can add in as much or as little milk as you need to achieve your required consistency. For piping I love a really thick frosting. You can see how thick mine is here. I've really got to shake it to get it off a spoon. More milk's going to make it thinner, less milk's going to make it thicker. The thick frosting is perfect for our piping, but for pouring on our donuts, I want a thinner frosting. So I've separated out a small bowl of frosting and I'm going to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute. That'll melt it a little bit and help to thin it out. Take some of your pink food coloring and just pop a couple of drops in, stir it all the way through that frosting and we're ready to start decorating our donuts. To decorate, you just want to take a couple of small teaspoonfuls of your frosting and spoon it straight over the donut, but don't put too much because you want to be able to see the donut coming out the sides of the frosting. And while that donut is fresh, sprinkle the sprinkles on. Don't wait too long between donuts to sprinkle or the sprinkles aren't going to stick. Take some of your raspberry jam, pop it into a Ziploc bag, and you also want some of your thick original buttercream in a Ziploc bag as well. For your buttercream, cut off a really thick, chunky tip. This is a makeshift piping bag. So you can also use a piping bag with a round piping tip. And then for your raspberry jam, you can cut off a slightly smaller, more defined tip. It's time to start putting it all together. So you want to core out the center of your cupcakes. And I just use a serrated edge knife to cut like a little cone shape out of the middle. Then take your raspberry jam and just pipe it into the center of your cupcakes. So you've got a bit of jam in every bite all the way through. And then using my Ziploc bag, I'm really just piping a big round sausage of frosting and it doesn't have to be particularly neat. Stick your donuts straight down on top and if you need to squish them down a little bit, you can see I'm just using a knife here just to push them down onto the frosting so they're nice and stuck. Finally, to finish them off, we're going to take that raspberry jam again and just pipe the jam or the jelly into the center of each of your donuts. 
That completes your amazingly delicious jelly donut cupcake recipe. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, you can just eliminate the cinnamon and nutmeg component and you've got a beautiful vanilla cupcake mix. If you're not already subscribed to My Cupcake Addiction, make sure you head on over, hit the subscribe button for new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Thank you.